Hey everybody, Chris here, and I wanted to show you guys some learning that I've been doing on multi-point docking. So as you guys know, when when you when you dock a lot of these larger ships together, they uh, they do wobble if you're on a single stay port. And there are mods, you know, the common birthday mods and others. But what I've wanted to do is do these multi-point docking. So I get these kind of constellations of docking ports on these multiple ships. This is a, a couple of ships that I'm putting together for a mission I'm I'm getting ready for and. Um, as you can see, the biggest thing you can do with these is do them very slowly. You have to match up. You have to be really, really careful to match up all three, you know, of your axes, um, because you know, with when you do an, a single point docking, your rotational axis really is not that big of a deal. You want it. You want your. You can be in any orientation so long as you are any rotation so long as you are uh, pointed in the right way. So. But like I said, do it slow. I use MechJeb here because the parallel plus thing is that really useful during those last couple of degrees. And when you get finally docked, uh, you, more than likely, uh, even if you have perfect alignment, you will get one or more of your docking ports won't be actually docked. In this case, I got four out of five, which you know isn't bad. I could probably fly the mission four out of five. Um, but uh, for the purposes of this video, I want to go ahead and show you guys what I've been how to fix it. So uh, what I do here is the first thing you do is once you once you get docked the first time you know you guys are you know your two ships are locked together everything's everything's really nice and they really you know you look at these ports and they really should be kind of docked together because um, they really line up very well. Um, what you can do and what I'm going to show you guys first is you actually detach the two. I didn't do it right in this case. Pull them apart. As you can see, I'll go here and. Uh, and undo the last one once I realize. But uh, you can uh, now these ships are pretty well synced for their orbit and everything. You can pull them apart really easy. It's just a just a you pull back with the thrust on the RCS. And once you get to a distance of a couple of meters, so that the docking ports have reset because they get in this detached state. You bring up the main engines, bring them together as fast as you can. In this case. Um, this was not the not the best docking either because I only got four out of five again. This one in the back left corner uh, was was out of it. So then, if both of these fail, uh, this was obviously a pretty bad one. But the uh, if both if both if you try a try and you just can't get it to work, there is of course the last option. These docking ports um, are in a detached state as soon as they detach until you get far enough away. But what you can do is, if you if you actually undock your two ships from each other, uh, you can very quickly quick save. The docking ports are right next to one another, and you can actually go ahead and edit the quick save really easily, and load it again. What you want to do is search your quick save for the word detached, and then uh, or disengage. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it is disengage, and then replace it with ready. And once you do that, you'll get uh, either five or ten. You'll, you'll get either the same number of ports you have on one ship. Or it'll like this is five. I either get five or ten, depending on whether or not both sides register the register the disengage. But once you do that, quick quick load your file, and the ships will right away because they're so close to each other. Go ahead and dock. This way, you get all five docking ports. It is a quick save edit. Um, I would recommend this really if you ha are just having lots of trouble and you really don't want these. Sh you want them to be perfectly docked. So anyway, thanks for your time, guys, and have a good day.